It is Saturday, November 22nd, about 12.30 in the afternoon, day weekend before Thanksgiving. You can see there's the sun up there, that this is about as high as the sun's going to get in about an hour. We'll start getting shade on the front of the house. Nothing's hooked up to the telephone pole yet. One of the interesting things about my portable supercomputer device is it has a compass now. And we just went and looked and say hi to your fire admiring fans. Hello. Pretty much the house is on an east-west line. Meaning what you're seeing now is the south fronting face. 12.30 in the afternoon, a month before the solstice, this is about what you get. So you can see this is where we'll probably end up putting some solar panels or hot water heaters as the years go by. Past week, the more electrical work, the low voltage wiring is in more plumbing work. Front door is screwed shut so it doesn't go blanging in the breeze so we'll end up having to walk in the garage. Current tasks are figuring out where our 500 gallon propane tank is going to go. It's going to be over there someplace. We have to figure out who's going to be putting it in and whether it's going to be buried or not. Shower is finally in. Stop and take a look at the wiring in the garage with the garage door openers, smoke detectors, fluorescent lights, Trisha's workbench area. Although she's now saying she has ideas on changing it. We'll cut through, pretend we came in the front door. When we first got here an hour ago, there was some sort of practice going on, but the school's finished up for the day. One of the things I decided on was to get an electrical outlet here inside the closet, just in case. Back up and take a look. Just inside the door, there's going to be a humongous number of switches for different lights and ceiling fans and switches. You're also seeing on the end in the door coming up, that's the low voltage Ethernet cables and HDTV cables going up. We'll be going down and looking at that patch panel. So they're going off down in there. The plumbing changes for the pedestal sink have been fixed up, finished up. You can see the walls coming in, the length of a stud, and things going. Go into the dining room. There's an Ethernet drop right next to the quad outlet. This is a, one of the running jokes that is having our contractors look at us funny because I'm saying, well, Trish, when you kick the bucket, I'm turning this dining room into an office, so I want an Ethernet drop and a quad plug there to support it. And Trish is saying, oh, yeah? Well, when you die, your office is going to get turned into it. And they just sort of look at us funny. electrical work with different switches and things. One of the things we did with the electrician walkthrough is he told us, okay, well, here's where the electrical outlets need to be for electrical code, and here's the three-way switches according to code. Now tell me what else you want. 
So for example, instead of a normal plug there, we have a quad for chargers. And Because right now we have to have power strips to host everything with the light and other things. That's going. So we have a, an Ethernet drop and a uh, quad electrical on each side. Not sure what that one is for. It's probably for controlling speakers, but we have to find out from, it's one of the questions Trish has, also what that thing is for. Going into the bathroom. Well, look first the closet area. That's some kind of a conduit coming up. Not sure why we have a conduit box coming up, but it's basically a pipe, so that's another question. Another switch here for the bathroom. Uh, HD TV, uh, it's a ground fault circuit free. Here's what the plumbing in back of the shower stall looks like and going up pi copper pipe after the hot and cold water gets mixed. There is the ventilation, heavy duty for this, uh, the humidity in here because it's a high ceiling. And this is where our pendant light is going. We found this really neat purple star th explosion thingy that Trish will be blogging about that'll be hanging from there. It's not for illumination at all. It's for when you turn off the lights and put on candles. That's where the jacuzzi thing is. doesn't look like there's enough light to see it in there in the video. Let's try going closer. Nope, that's going to be completely black. So you can see this swirly cable going up and down and up and down. That's so that when the vanity lights get put in, the electrician will be able to pull through and wire them up. So as you can see, this is going to be just about one of the last times I can pretend this wall isn't here. Oh, the cable out of the way. And poof, we're in the dining room. Uh, the great room. So, the lighting going in, electrical work, section where the uh, stove is going. Why is my thing saying AE lock now? Automatic exposure lock. I'm going to stop the video and start it again and get rid of that. 